What are you 100% tired of? I feel this, especially when I see old friends, they want to talk about what happened in high school more than what's happening in the present, like, we both know what happened in high school, and it wasn't that great anyway. Tell me about your job or school now, your family, your goals and dreams, the stuff that actually matters. Last night I had a dream about the time in school. I came way too late into class and I forgot my homework. I was so stressed in that dream. Nothing was working out. I woke up at like 6 a.m., breathless, and needed some seconds to remind myself that I finished school two years ago and that I am in university now. I have some shitty nightmares, but these about school are for some reason the worst. Like even the dreams about zombies, apocalypses and falling from the sky are less horrifying. I'm 23 and doing on-campus university for the first time. I'm around some of these people and am constantly thinking my god it's like high school all over again. Everyone told me it would be different because everyone's an adult now. Nope, just because these people are legally adults doesn't make them mature. Just being in some of those people's presence is painful. I bet you remember more of your own embarrassing incidents than you can for everyone else you went to school with. You'd think given the hundreds of kids at your school you'd be able to recount hundreds of embarrassing incidents, but you probably don't. We only remember our own, so I doubt anyone remembers yours. Unless you pissed yourself like Mark did in Ms. Davis maths lesson in 1999. I will never forget that, Mark. Kids on the internet being toxic and just throwing hate on others for the dumbest reasons. A kid literally argued with me back she didn't like the way I complimented a singer. According to the kid I should have complimented like her. Zero hate in the comment but that kid kept on going trying to prove her point. My brain had to take a break. I might collect minus here, but I have a feeling like people. Children nowadays are far more toxic than they used to, like they make it their goal to piss off as many people as they can. In some games kids, you notice in the way they word their sentences, would straight up pick a verbal fight with me because I was chatting with a friend in public chat, like, why, and why do they immediately start insulting me? Why can't they be nice or reasonable? I mean I, we were not perfect back then either, but we would never pick a fight with anyone without a real reason. That's totally pointless and sometimes ruins the fun of the game. Emphasis on the plus and COVID has made it so much worse. On one side I'm lucky to have a job, on the other side I'm basically being forced into 60 to 70 hours work weeks pretty much every week and I'm just... So, tired, but the bills are still there, my house payment is still there while the house itself is falling apart and my kids still need food and school supplies. It's because your next better choice can be just another swipe or click away, so why bother putting any effort into getting to know anyone anymore? The sad truth is, these things that were designed to bring people together, are doing the exact opposite, as soon as it's safe. It's time to go back outside to meet people. Delete the apps. Ahaha. Oh, ha. In recent times I would get two days off per two weeks. It has become pretty rare to get two days off in a single week, let alone two days in a row. A single day off is useless, because I spend it mostly with stuff for the work week, like buying groceries, washing laundry. That day off is pointless then, but my supervisor is being really picky and making sure I make no overtime, but rather make less hours than I need per week, so I have to work the weekends through as well just to get my 40 hours a week full. I hate it, will definitely complain if this keeps going, I ain't dealing with this shit for long. Majority of the content slammed in my face when I opened the internet, a TikTok star died for a prank. Some politician is fucked up, anti-masker vaxxer did something idiotic, a celeb apologizes for a joke they made 20 octo seconds ago, and no beast woman is suing a company because one size fits all clothing didn't fit them, a black woman assaulted an Asian man for racial reasons and blames white people for it, another country is against abortions now, everyone changing their social medias to hash whatever is going and right now, but not actually doing anything. 
trans people mad at people for not getting turned on by their genitals, someone reposted the same picture of Billie Eilish I've seen like 12 times just today, a celeb gets cancelled for unverified rumors, a pastor says COVID is God's way to punish human beings for allowing gays to be themselves, someone thinks that 5G is mind control but clearly doesn't even know what 5G is, people being pretentious as fuck in their social medias. Clickbait articles stirring up chaos within the stupid because they don't read past the clickbait title. A Twitch streamer is in drama because of some dumb shit etc. I'm just fucking tired of seeing everything at once all of the time, kind of just makes me tired of the whole fucking world. It is real good to just occasionally lock myself in my flat and play games all day without opening a single social application, just close the world around me for a while, not care about anyone or anything. I watched Gabriel's stand up about his India visit, and at the end I thought, hold up, dot 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 he wasn't being ironic, those were his jokes, there was no other intention behind this comedy special, he pretty much retold every stereotypical Facebook level Indian joke, spicy food, cows on the street, traffic, bobbleheads, etc, with the Facebook level Indian accent, his facial expressions were funny though, NGL. People being obsessed with sex, let me rant, it's like they can't get enough of it even if they have never had it. It is literally just a biological process to have kids, and it's so disgusting that God probably added pleasure just to make humans do it and look at the world now. I am sure that if sex didn't provide pleasure, we would have severe population shortage at this point. It is the base of millions of jokes, internet forums, frustrations and conversations and it creates so much unnecessary curiosity and frustration for kids. Myths that sex will change you and make you a different person. Also, the reason for harassment, many rapes in an entire industry devoted to people like that. And it's all people talk about these days. I was reading Moby Dick a few days ago and a couple of girls made a dirty joke about that too. I do not live in Kali but I love to read a lot, especially research articles and other such things. While it's true climate change has an effect to some degree on wildfires in California, a lot of it could be curbed by controlled burns, but environmental air quality regulation has limited the ability to perform controlled burns, but I read they're starting to gain more traction in recent years. Human beings believing they are superior to other human beings, not solely because of race, greed, sex, sexual preference, religion, etc. I'm sick of it entirely. We are all humans and we all have our own life on this planet. Respect each and every single other human being. I'm tired of racism. I'm tired of sexism. I'm tired of hatred towards homosexuals. I'm tired of hatred toward opposing religions. I'm 100% tired of people treating people who are different in any other way like they are less important. It is utterly disgusting. You gotta be more clear as to what you mean. When someone says they're tired of someone else, it usually means they don't love, want that person around them anymore, can't stand them. It's normal for parents to feel tired and overwhelmed from child caretaking and desperately want a break. Kids can be overwhelming sometimes, but that's not the same thing as being tired of the kids themselves. Bullshit Identity Politics both from the religious nutjobs on the right and the postmodern induced insanity on the far left. It's all a distraction from the lack of economic opportunities for the mid and lower classes, hoarding of wealth and assets by the insanely rich and the consolation of power into a political and financial elite. All the agendas that are constantly being pigeonholed into all the movies and shows. Regardless of whether I agree with them or not, I think having these things shoved into a movie when it's obviously has no bearing on the film makes people start to hate that thing they're pushing. Here's how I would equate it, if I walked up to your door and said something about coming to my church and no matter whether you said you weren't interested or okay sounds good, or go away I kept coming, all the time I am there telling you to go to my church, I would show up while you were doing mundane things. I would show up while you were at work, I would show up when you were trying to unwind, then I would have all my friends show up and tell you, this would go on for months or years. Now let me ask you, 
how inclined would you be to go to my church after dealing with that? That's what these special interest agendas are doing. They have groups that their entire purpose is to push Hollywood to include and highlight their cause but it's getting so overdone. It's having the opposite effect on people, making them sick of hearing about it. That then makes people hate that cause. Since no one ever backs down on their opinion on the internet I don't know why I am bothering, but a simple Google search will show you that Melbourne has the world record of longest lockdown, and that sources repeated across many different news sources, from Daily Mail to Bloomberg. Personally I'd rather my freedom as originally stated. Currents and anti-vaxxers, anti-abortonists too, and homophobes, and racists, and everyone with the ability to work who believes the government, everyone else, should take care of them. We live together, we work together, that's how it works, right? One more thing, people who can't hold a phone in landscape when shooting a video and posting it on Facebook slash Instagram slash YouTube, TikTok, delete as required. Seeing your video in 20% of the screen is annoying. Have you watched your video on a TV or laptop or desktop monitor? Yeah, hold your phone the right way. Men voicing their opinions on the Texas abortion debate. Until you can get pregnant or pay child support from the moment the test comes back positive. Kindly shut the hell up. Your body isn't affected by pregnancy. You're not the one throwing up. You're not the one with sciatica, gestational diabetes or preeclampsia. Just close your mouth. I'm tired of parents that don't understand the drop-off drive through line at school. Those who hold up the process. Before I leave my house, I hug and kiss my kid. Tell them I love them. On the way to school, I'm making sure. Do you have your mask on? Are you ready to tuck and roll? Why can't other parents do this in the drop-off line at schools? It's so irritating. If you need to get out of the car and get your child out, go park somewhere you inconsider it a hole. Some people work. I'm a democratic, but I am 100% tired of the lot of them in office in DC not getting their shit together and getting stuff done. Matchin and cinema are just photemes and I wonder just how much they get under the table. Ack and the rest of the progressives, stop sacrificing the good for the perfect or we'll lose the entire country. Schumer is supposed to be majority leader but McConnell is still in charge. Bernie the independent needs to STFU. President Biden and Nancy, all you veer both but you have failed to take the threat to our democracy seriously. They've been practicing how to steal elections. Now they are getting their ducks in a row and taking away our voting rights. You can fix it if you really wanted to, so do it damn it Chuck, Dick D. You all need to end the filibuster, yesterday. I am a person that likes cars and I am very tired of environmental related politics, electric car news especially Tesla, and Thiac Engine or EV articles. Because that's the only thing that's on the front page on the internet and I have no bloody interest in them and they are all make my day depressing when I read them or read or even seeing them. Even a couple of years ago, most car related articles would be reviews of new cars that were positive and made my day better. Now everything is politics and as rotten as it usually comes. Anti-vaxxers, anti-maskers, anti-whatever the fuck their new thing is will be. I'm so done trying to be patient with them, trying to show them actual data and actual studies, holding their hands as they learn things most of us learned in junior high about how our governments work, and how society overall works. Watching them throw infantile tantrum after tantrum over stupid, easily disproven, talking points they got from another demos with the YouTube channel or some moronic viral Facebook post comparing yet another something to Nazi Germany. It's not the people who won't get the shot. It's the politicians who keep pushing their requirements further in order to go back to normal. It's a power grab at this point. 
Fossey is the highest paid government official https colon slash slash www.forbes.com slash site slash Adam Andersichsky slash 2021 slash 01 slash 25 slash Dr. Anthony Fossey the highest paid employee in the entire US federal government slash question mark sh equals 634 f3304386f he knows once things go back to normal his salary will be slashed so he is incentivized to keep the pandemic going as long as possible. Hey your feeling are understandable, I've been through myself this past year, I just got my own apartment with my girlfriend by my side, my advice, try to put yourself out there, present yourself naturally, if you don't like the person you are make those changes. At the start of all this COVID stuff I started going to the gym, picked up bass guitar because I wanted to learn it for years started a new job that I'm still up. In my case all these steps not only made me feel better about myself, but also made it easier when I met a girl who liked all the traits I just listed. It's both easy and depressing to feel the way you do, but this internet stranger believes in you. I'm 100% tired of people thinking that by getting the vaccine they are allowing the government to take away their personal freedoms. No one is trying to steal your gun. Jim, they just want you to get the vaccine because the world doesn't revolve completely around you and they don't think you should have access to military-grade weapons that kids can get a hold of. If you get the vaccine, then no one else has to be forced to get it. Or are you saying the vaccine you took doesn't work? Fossi himself said under oath that 50% of the FDA and CDC staff are not vaccinated. If those people who work at those organizations choose not to get vaccinated, then maybe there is good reason to not get vaccinated. No, why not help your fellow man? The virus is not killing vaccinated people. Who says they aren't vaccinated? The vaccine does work. If enough people got the vaccine then it does work. But if people don't, then it continues to spread and mutate especially among unvaccinated who now carry a deadlier variant to their vaccinated family and friends who can get infected again. Do you believe everything you read on Facebook? I just looked it up. There's vaccine mandates. If they don't want to get vaccinated then they can find another job. Fossey said it himself in a congressional hearing while he was under oath. 50% of the CDC and FDA are not vaccinated as of just a few months ago when he testified before Congress. If you choose to be vaccinated then that is enough for you and if it works as well as you say, then you have nothing to fear from someone that is unvaccinated. Anti-feminists feeling like victims, they're in an objective political and numerical minority and they cry more than victims of actual assault, knowing they're predominantly a bunch of sad, insecure virgins who can't find anyone to tolerate them is kind of low-hanging fruit, but they're still super tiresome and they seem to be getting louder and whinier on Reddit. How still somewhat unacceptable concepts like responsible, competent, publicly funded living spaces and UBR, basically all the parts of late capitalism which make it criminally agonizing to move out and do competent adulting since most of the world likes to pretend that people will always have nothing better to do after no longer struggling with money. Speaking of the pandemic, I moved to East Tennessee almost a year ago, and nobody is staying home. At first it sounded a little distorted hearing on the local news that people were attending bars regularly and doing this and that. Cuz who cares? I don't drink at bars anyway. I didn't realize it immediately, but as the days went on I noticed every redneck in Brad Def and their brother and cousin and sister are driving around, I shit you not, are driving around in, pickups that sound like lawn mowers or fucking Harleys, in pretty much all of NC. I had to let a driving job go because everyone is all over the road. Legit driving stupid as foo. Been going on since I moved here. I'm curious what they are doing and where they are going because no one seems to notice and no one's doing anything besides getting gas. Everything, everything, shuts down by 9 p.m. here except for McDonald's and it does start calming down at around 11 p.m. But it's like I'm living in fooing New York. 
It's surreal and I'm tired of it. I can post an audio wave at any time if you don't believe me. There is no shortage to noise pollution caused by the people who own trucks with loud ass exhaust. I'm trying to go to school here and this shit is dumb as fuck. I'm bright but not that smart but I'm even thinking about getting into medicine or becoming an attorney. They are setting the bar low as hell for the general IQ of the population living here just by being obnoxious. It seems like they're driving around looking for pelts constantly. And ladies, if that is a trait you look for in men, get your ass down or up to the state of NC because WTF. 